again. This is Priscilla Batzell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. And I have not enough leftovers to repeat what I did the other day, which inspired me. And uh, the numbers were one, excuse me, nine, one, nine, seven. So I'm going to try and pretend that I'm creating my own leftovers. So that's a little bit of Sherwin-Williams white latex semi-gloss. And this is a little bit of tricorn black. And I'm going to shovel these out onto a canvas. But in the meantime, I'm going to make sure all my bottles are open. I'm going to use a little bit of the Fairy Tales Primary Elements Burmese Red. A little bit of the Amethyst Queen, also from the Fairy Tales. I have a new color that I can't pronounce. It's P A D P A R I. Uh, P A D P A R A D S C I A, I think. If I was in my right mind when I saw it. Anyway, it's a, it's a nice turquoisey green color. And some magic slippers. Just going to use everything I intend on using in the painting. This is Egyptian blue. Magic slippers was also fairy tales. Egyptian blue is a prison pour. That makes that color over there makes me want some frozen or some agave blue, which is a prison pour. Yeah, that'll work. So just a little bit of everything. I also have some boom gel I really like the color of. This is cut called mauve. Whoops. And this is sort of a testing ground to see what what I like from the bunch of stuff that I'm going to use. This is saffron. This is a prison pour. I've never done anything quite like this before. I usually shovel paint on, but not in this method. This is my sour lemon prison pour that has some orange crush in it to change the color a little. This is jasmine, primary element. So this is less a dirty pour and more a dirty dish. And I'm going to save my Mayan gold for the top. And my Chantilly lace, which is so shimmery and beautiful for around the edge. I've got a little tiny scoop made out of some packaging. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or a shovel. So what I am going to do is add some of this white latex semi-gloss paint around the edge of my canvas as I almost always do And then a puddle in the middle. And maybe some, I might lose some over the edge. It's not impossible. And then I'm going to grab a shovel. Old paint and new paint alike. It's not very similar to what I was using before because what I was using before was a mix of gray leftover house paint with a few colors in it. This might be fun though. I might add some more white house paint to the, the places that are missing paint, obviously. I'm also going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula because there's no point in leaving any colors in that in that shovel or anywhere. I 
And those are those look a lot more like my usual colors. And who knows what was in them. Looks like a little quinacridone Nicolaso gold, but I'll never know. But that is time for that to put it in the bucket. And that in the bucket. I'm sure I'm going to lose some of that, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do what I almost always do, try and integrate some of that paint, except for that lump of something. Before swiping, and or blooming, and or scooping, and or dragging. that right in there. So I don't have very many, if any, gaps left. And it's definitely a messy way to go about things. <laughs> I'm discovering pretty quickly. Come off the spatula, please. That's my OXO Omelet Turning Flip the Fold Spatula. Usually the best paint spreading tool around. So I used this tool the other day and it was a lot of fun to use. And I used copious amount of black. I did check this bottle right before I started so I want to make sure that I have it on the right side and I'm also gonna use maybe some of the Mayan gold and probably some of the white. Oh I meant to put the white on first. Darn. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. I have Pebio Iridescent Blue Violet which I love. And I don't think I can hurt anything with it. But I don't think I have nearly enough saffron. And I'm inclined to put some of the colors right into the gaps that I do see that are still there. And that would include some of the jasmine, which you can really basically still see. And since I'm at it, I'll just keep going for it. This is the sour lemon. And whatever's open. This is the Burmese red. I love the Burmese red. And the fairy tales. I'm going to have to remove quite a few bottles. That shovel's got to go in the bucket too. Do I want anything else? Maybe a little bit more magic slippers. And did I use any of that turquoise? If I did, I yeah, I see it. It's not dominant. I'm going to go ahead and amethyst queen it also. That is just about everything except for the mauve and this is spread out nicely. Yes I am. So I'm going to do another spatula full of color after I wipe it off on my fortunately damp from yesterday studio rag that I forgot to dampen today. And you know what I did last time that I'm going to do again? I have a little acetate tool and I'm going to use it. And I think I'm going to try what I forgot to do earlier, which is to put the white down first. And I'm going to use some either jasmine or gold, Mayan gold, or both. I think bold. Now, I, the 
The 9197 that I was talking about, I went a lot more around the edge, but I don't think it matters. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Sorry. I lost my mind for a moment. So I'll also make sure that I have paint to my edges. Just lost some of it. Looks like I, I'm going to have quite a bit. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I don't think it's going to get used again. Put some of my colors away briefly. So we have a spin, hopefully. Give me a moment. Lace. I meant to use more Chantilly lace. So I'm going to grab my favorite palette knives and do some scoop and drags. I'm loving those colors. I could use one of these one of these times. I, I like the idea of using a small card. Maybe smaller than that though. Wow, this is going to be tremendous. I'm, I'm so pleased. I'm going to try and get out of the habit of repeating the same marks over and over again because those are really not going to serve my purposes. The thing I liked the most about 91, 97 was that things went in all kinds of different directions and created all different areas of interest. So you pull up, although it's a lot easier to pull up right now with a very deep puddle of paint. I want to just spin it out right at the moment. It's so pretty. There's some gorgeous cells in there. I have to remember to use the white before the black more often because I really do like the way that looks. I'm worried I'm going to lose anything over here on this edge, so I'm just going to steal it. Let some of it spread on the way. I don't mind utilizing the black either. I love the, the drama of the black. And I forget that, you know, no matter how much I like it as I go along, whatever I see at the edge probably won't remain. So I can drag toward the edge, but expecting it to stay, unless of course I tip some of it, which is always an option. These are so pretty I don't want to move them, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because forcing yourself, although slowing down as you spread your cells is the only way to keep them. Pull up, release the seal. I hope this is half as nice as the one I'm, I'm talking about. One thing's for sure, I do have enough paint on here to spin off. <laughs> and I'm inclined to steal some more. As long as it's heavy, I can certainly pick it up and put it elsewhere. And it's good to pick it up and let it spread as you go. That way you don't leave any gaps. And the Aussie Flow Trial will just continue on its merry way, increasing its cell size. I'm liking a lot of that. I'm still inclined to put some spirals in somewhere. I gotta remember, I like touching my palette knife and creating patterns. Pop that bubble. And I love stealing paint. But I won't get to keep anything around the edge, so I have to remember. And you're just going to turn around and steal that pink completely. I 
Hopefully some of it will stay, you know, but I doubt it. <laughs> so I've got this white spot that I'm a little concerned with. So I'm going to steal some paint from right up here. That looks pretty interesting. I think it's time that I grabbed a skewer before I run out of time. I'm gonna put that spatula, put that palette knife in the bucket. Even little spirals, I'm always saying, even little spirals turn into big spirals. Yep, yeah, my my sense of timing is definitely I've got three minutes to do what i got to do, and then it'll be the last minute before we're over. I forget to wreck, you know, sometimes. Wrecking is pretty much just as good as spiraling. But it's time. I really like what I've got right now. And if I tip it, I'm going to lose a whole bunch of things I like. So, I'm going to pop that bubble. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to try and take a picture. Pop that bubble, too. Bring my barrier in place. Hopefully that's right in the middle. I'd like it to be in the middle, please. That way I'm sure I'm going to get something... I see something that's going to bother me if I don't fix it. All right. I don't know why I do anything on the edges. Really, I don't. Turn my barrier right side up. It's going to be a fair amount of paint flowing off. has a similar flavor, or knock on wood, cross your fingers, I hope. Similar flavor to what I'm talking about. Not anything the same, but lots of intense patterning going on and shapes that move in odd directions, which is what I was looking for. This side is not covered yet. So I am going to spin until I cover. Sometimes if the paint isn't too heavy, then I can stop spinning and I can just cover the parts that don't get covered. And I often think that I like to steal the paint I see. But then I'd have to figure out where to put it. Because I, I like transferring. I haven't done any in, in a little while. Those cells are too nice not to steal. And they might stay since they're close to the edge. Well, not, not as close to the edge. Where is this going to go? Oh, I've got one minute left. I better hurry. And I hope you, my head is not. Yes, it is. It's right in the way. So if you'd like to buy my artwork, please let me know. I do sell it, and I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Also, on my link tree, you'll find my two websites, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. I would love a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, and your comments keep my morale boosted. Thank you so much for the donations through the PayPal link on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. I have 29 lists of 100 videos that you can watch and access. But if you can't find what you're looking for, just mention a style that you like and in comments I'll respond to your to your inquiry with uh, giving you some of the, the genre. This is pretty incredible. I'm going to try and sparkle this at you, shimmer this at you, and you'll be gone in a heartbeat. Whatever I forgot you'll see in another video. 20% off color coupon code and a 10% off pixel paints designs <laughs> coupon code. Anyway, my Amazon link has my two books. 